Chair, honorable delegations, allow me to focus on Article 57, dealing with data protection, because the article as drafted needs significant strengthening in order to allow for a meaningful protection of personal data. As was explained last week with regard to human rights in general, this is not to weaken the future convention, but rather the opposite. It would allow for a more effective and secure cooperation. On paragraph one, we recommend that the use of personal data should be limited to only those proceedings that are strictly related to the original request. Thus, the word strictly should be added before directly. This would also clarify that personal data can be used to prevent an imminent and serious threat to life and safety of a person. The term public safety should be deleted. It often is too vague and may lead to overly broad interpretations of the scope and limits of the present article. State parties shall ensure that the personal data are maintained with accuracy and completeness. On paragraph 3, an obligation should be included, included to promptly take appro appropriate action to mitigate any harm a notified or transmitting state party once a security incident has been discovered, in which there is a significant risk of physical or other harm to individuals or to the other party. May I now propose a few additions that we consider essential. Firstly, State parties shall keep a record of the data received and their processing. Secondly, appropriate safeguards shall be in place when processing personal data so as to prevent risks of unwarranted prejudicial impact on the persons concerned, including unlawful discrimination. It shall further not be possible that decisions which produce a significant adverse effect on the relevant interests of the person to whom the personal data relates be based solely on automatic processing of personal data. This shall only be possible if set out by domestic law and with appropriate safeguards in place that include the possibility to obtain human intervention. Any person whose personal data have been re received shall be entitled to seek and obtain access to their personal data as well as information regarding available options for redress and rectification when the data of the person are inaccurate or have been improperly processed. If access or rectification is denied or restricted, state parties shall provide to the person concerned without undue delay a response informing that person of the denial or restriction as well as the grounds for such and provide information about available options for redress. In line with this, State parties shall have in place effective judicial and non-judicial remedies to provide redress for violations of the data protection provisions. Furthermore, one or more public authorities shall be in place in state parties to exercise independent and effective oversight functions and powers with respect to the safeguards in this article. The functions and powers shall include investigation powers, the power to act upon complaints, and the ability to take corrective action. Finally, it shall be ensured that personal data received shall not be shared with third state parties or international organizations without the prior written authorization of the state party that transmitted the data. Thank you, Madam Chair. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much.